Hey everyone, this is Aduna with Elegant Creations and I'm here to do a video for Saturday Morning Makes and I wanted to do a video on my um, gift bags and I do have a tutorial because I did the Christmas ones but I wanted to do kind of show you a DIY um, on my bows <clears throat> of what I discovered and um, I had made a whole bunch of the boxes um, back in January, but I hadn't put the bows on because I didn't have the matching paper. And I kind of had an aha moment, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, <clears throat> I bought a paper pack, a really pretty paper pack, two of them, from um, Hobby Lobby. And one is the Distress Floral, and it's so pretty. It's got beautiful colors, but very muted colors. And I don't have, I don't have a whole lot of solid papers. Um, I use everything, just about everything I I buy, but this was a distress and it had some pretty uh, pinks and peachy pinks and blues and different colors. So I made, I think I made like 50 bags so far. And then a friend of mine had wanted some bags and she likes the vintage Victorian. And so I found that one and it's so pretty. Um, I don't know if I want to give them to her or not, but <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, I will. I'll probably have to go buy me another one, but I got it 40% off. So it's like 13 cents a sheet. And um, the problem I had, like I said, was the bows. Um, getting these prettier pink colors and stuff. So I was, last Sunday, I was, um, wanted to play around with some, um, stuff and there's a um, lady by the name of Brenda and I had been watching her channel and she did the um, coffee dyed paper from she's from shabby let me see I wrote it down uh, shabby house journals she does a lot of journals and stuff beautiful stuff and um, I was gonna try the coffee technique where you put the mats down the the plastic lace mats I didn't have the mats I had lace and stuff so I was trying it it didn't quite work out but that's okay um <clears throat> I um started playing with it and I thought oh it would be pretty in colored paper if I can do it that technique so I kind of had a moment and I took my the Ritz I used the writ or I don't know how you pronounce it the dye and I have I dye a whole lot of my appliques and I do have a tutorial on that one too um <clears throat> so I have a lot of coffee cans with the formula the dye in them and so I went and I got a little container and I put dye in there and then um <clears throat> I wanted some mauve so I got this one that came out pretty and this is just copy paper and then I put a piece of lace down on this one this was a little bit darker and um, it did start to transform, uh, but I think I moved it and so um, it didn't quite do. But if I had the plastic ones, I am going to try that technique again because I was really inspired. And then I went on YouTube and there's a lot of people who do that for their journals. I don't do journals. I do a lot of boxes and things like that. And I some <clears throat> paper that I have is very unusual colors and hard to match. And so um, I did have some other paper packs that I will show. Not the paper packs, but the boxes <clears throat> what I did. See, this one had a lot of like a peachy pink. And so this matched perfect. So what I did, um, I got my cardstock. I had bought a big pack. like I think it came out like 150 at Walmart. And so I stuck a white piece of cardstock in the dye, in my dye bath. And <clears throat> it came out really nice. And so um, I dyed a whole bunch of papers and I got all, I did all different colors and I kind of went crazy, <laughs> but <clears throat> I needed to do a lot of the muted colors. So I, you kind of have to, it's not really a formula. <clears throat> I have a, a specific thing that I do. My mauves, I do a little bit of cherry red with purple and I mix it real good, but I did water down the bath the, when I put it in the container because it will come up because it takes it really quick. <clears throat> and I get the paper, <clears throat> excuse me, and I submerge it in there and then I, I cover the whole thing. And then when I take it out, I, it's a real quick process. You don't have to let it sit in there. Um, I have these plastics uh, that 
the top the call for chopping I guess for cutting meats and things like vegetables and stuff and so I have a whole bunch of those because I use those for my class <clears throat> and I put them on that and then I got a towel and I dried it and you can do a paper towel you can do a towel old towel because it will get the dye on there and I do have a lot of those old towels because that's what I use to pad down my appliques and so <clears throat> these will be good for uh, people who do journals because you can do the plain paper or you can do the cardstock, you know. And um, this one, I let it drip. I put this down onto the die, and I had another one dripping, and it dripped on there. And so that's come, you got the darker with the lighter. And to get them lighter, this is the same color, but I did it a lot lighter. I take some of the dye off and then um, add water to it. And then, uh, so I did all these different colors. And so I've been kind of playing. And what I did was I was doing these little um, paper things here, those little notepads that I had bought. And, and uh, <clears throat> so I put it, this is the dye paper. Um, this is a thin one, I think, I, before I did the cardstock. And then I stamped a, a music note on it. And I did the purple. And then this is just plain. And then I, this is the plain paper, I mean the copy paper, but I scrunched it up. And so you get all these little veins. So I did that. So I'm going to cover a lot of those. So here's all my bows I've done, except for the brown. But I did little bows and big bows. All these colors. The peach, greens, purples. <clears throat> so, um, and it's so easy and so much fun to make. And so you just, there's not really a formula, so you just kind of have to play around with it. Like this muted blue, I want it more like a, I think it's, um, uh, royal blue with, um, evening blue. And you just have to put a tiny, tiny bit. It's very strong. So if you do decide to do it, you, it will go a long way and you can dye. What I do is I have my strong one. And I do my appliques and lace and stuff in that. And then now I have, I got had some jars and stuff. And so I put the one that I had watered down, the one I'm doing for paper. So I don't have to keep using the other one. <clears throat> and so I got them the colors that I wanted. So I saved it instead of, you know, flushing down the drain. I saved it so then I could do more paper. And uh, I just really love the way the mobs came out. And so I'm going to show you the bags that I did. Um... So this one, I wanted to get like a, a peachy pink color there to match that. And they really have matched perfectly. Oops, I think I'm dropping all my bags. And this one had this uh, pretty purplish pink color. I'm not sure what color that is, but it matched perfect. You know, so I just kind of I you know, played around with it, watered it down, um, put the bath in a... a in a bowl and then left a little bit and then watered down more, add more pink. I just kind of have all kinds of different colors so I got what I wanted. And then I had a green. This this green was um, it's a little bit of blue and green together. And it matched with this because, I don't know, this, this is an odd color. They're all just like different colors. And what I wanted to do was trying to get this color to match this. And then I realized I had one of these papers because they all kind of kind of co oh, have the, the, all the colors that match with each other but with this one I decided to put the pink the purple with it and this one I used the green the tone on tone and but I could have used this bow with that one they're all interchangeable and then this purple I watered it down a lot and I got this purple and I could have went with a yellow flower also, but that's what makes it kind of neat. You can go darker, you can go lighter, but um, I'm very happy with them. <clears throat> and then I had this from a, a different paper pack that I bought a couple of years ago, and I did the orange, watered down orange, and I got that one. And then I put the brown little bling. And then um, this one, and they're all not... Not all of them are the same. I just kind of kept playing. And so this one has a darker pink in it. And this matched. So what I did was I just did a whole bunch of paper. And then I um, uh, just cut the bows and then started matching with them. But um, this one had like a, a another peachy pink. This is a different paper pad. And then that matched it. 
and then this one had a green I wanted to match the leaves I didn't want to do a gray so I matched the leaves with that one and then this one is the blue because I took the blue off of there and I, and I still have some more of these so I'm gonna probably put the pink on those ones and then I did this one of the first ones I did and that matched with the little raspberries in there or strawberries and then <clears throat> this paper is just so beautiful and I matched that this paper I think was at like an off-white and it had like a texture to it I was trying all these different colors and it took really good and then um, I did this one in more of the grayer tone colors to match this this one I just used the brown craft paper that I had and then this is the, the one of the greens that I did so I'm real happy with these I made 50 some I still have to finish a few more and then um, I decided to um, do some little envelopes and stuff so hold on a moment okay so I did I have these little envelopes that I bought at uh, Dollar General or little uh, bags they're still drying and so I just dipped. This one is wine, the wine color, and then or, and then this one is the the pink with purple. And then I did some index cards. And what I do is is they kind of flip up a little bit, so I just iron them. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I was just kind of playing with it, so to see what I can do. And these, what I wanted, it holds a gift card. So I was thinking of, I have a lot of um, applique and. Things like that, the put pictures or something, or stamped image, and um, use that for gift cards. I'm not sure. I just kind of been trying to play with things, and um, that's about it. I just um, been having fun, so I wanted to share this technique with all of you. And uh, these little plastic is a con that's what I buy at the Dollar Tree, and I use them for my class. So I had a whole bunch, and they lay flat, which is nice. I just kind of put them all over I have them all over my spare bedroom with all the paper drying and uh, but I do take the excess off but it takes it so so quick so I hope you all try it and um, leave me a comment and let me know what you think and I hope um, that this video helps especially with the people who do journals and stuff I think it will make a pretty colors I got online and I saw a lot of people who do the food coloring and the avocado dye um, I had this, so it worked out really good. I wish I would have known about it a year ago because um, I had a lot of paper I couldn't match and um, a lot of projects I was doing. But um, food coloring, I didn't do. I don't know how to mix the formulas or anything like that or, you know, if you get different colors. But I had this, so I thought this, this worked, and it took it really easy. I didn't have to add anything to it, vinegar or anything like that. I just... Um, water is all you need and just a little bit of the the dye so um i hope you all try and um have a good weekend and thank you all so much for watching Bye bye